Hey everybody, how's it going? I am happy the weekend's finally here, and also it seems like it's a little weird that I'm doing Link to the Past instead of something different tonight, and there's a reason behind it. Okay, so this week's going to be a little bit different. Uh, of course, tonight's going to be Link to the Past. Tomorrow is going to be Yakuza. Friday is going to be something different, but that's not what uh, you might be thinking, especially you, Dragon. Saturday is going to be uh, a the start of the playthrough for Mario 3D World. And the reason behind it Saturday is just it'll give people more time to, you know, set up. We'll have to worry about work and stuff. So it'll be a time where people can actually go late into the night. So we're going to do that. I got another game that we can take a look at on Friday, and it's a game that I've been really excited to play. I think it actually comes out. I think it's already out today, but I'm holding off till Friday to get it. You'll know what it is when the day comes, but for now, we're just going to be playing some Link to the Past. Last time on our adventure, we basically got the Master Sword, which is weird that we got it super early into the game. And also, we made it to the Dark World. And now it's time for us to do the first dungeon here. I need to remember the co uh, control scheme. Alright, there's that. There's run. There's the map and the really close-up zoom in of it. I really do not like it at times. Alright, let's head into the first dungeon. Ape Dungeon? Maybe. That button. Alright. That just opens up the way back, so let's just keep heading down and see what we got. Uh oh! Button! Hello! I will take that, and let's get out of here. that and just parts all right nothing much to worry about I probably should get this stupid book off my inventory do I have any arrows I got ten arrows all right and down staircase number two is a what or pad? What? Oh no. Link, you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I'm locked in the Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. I know you're doing your best, but please hurry. Well, at least we know where Zelda is now. Oop. Is that it? Nope. Uh -oh. This? No. Push you down? No. Link, that looks really inappropriate. There we go, finally. Wait, hold on. Aha! Thought I didn't notice that, did you? Hmm. Very peculiar. Something tells me if I drop a bomb right here, that's going to blow not only the wall open, but the floor. Yep, that's a trap. Oh, it's this type of enemy. No, that's not it. Okay, maybe I need to take out the green guys first. Coming for you. Okay, if I, he looks at me, he shoots. Can't attack from behind. Maybe if I... Nope. 
Mm. Aha. Got it. Bombs. Nope. Nope, that wasn't it. Hmm. Maybe I can't do anything with him right now. Let's try the middle door. Because we do have a key that we can use. Can't do anything with those guys. I'm wondering what the dungeon item for this place could be. Maybe... I'm trying to figure out like what the game... Maybe something to let us jump, like the rocks cape or something? Can't get over there, so it might be the rocks cape. Actually, all I believe all Zelda games, if you do die, it just kicks you back to the start of the dungeon, and all progress you've made up to that point is still saved unless you turn the game off. Oops. Uh, that actually happened when we did the Majora's Mask uh, cha challenge run. Because I actually died in Great Bay during that stream, and... You guys okay? Okay, whatever. And it kicked me back to the start of the dungeon, but all the progress that I made into it was still saved. Zelda 1. Funny thing, I've never actually beaten Zelda 1. Nor did I really play it much. Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 are like two of my underplay games. Let's deal with these guys again. So he walks in the same direction you do, or opposite, and this one... No, they both go opposite directions. Cryptic Zelda 1's case. Uh, let's try Ether. Ice rod, maybe? Nope. This is probably going to be stupid. Nope. Nope. I guess I need the dungeon item for this guy. Whatever it is. Nope, that just kills me. It made the little jingle, so it was worth experimenting to see if... Oh, does it kick you down a level or something? But nope. Alright, well, I guess this was the way to go. I just can't fall down. Or else I have to make a very long trek back up. Hmm, I can't get there. Those guys would be great for some sort of show with how they sync... How in sync they are with you. Damn it. Dragon, why do you have to give me ideas for another alert? Alright, let's try this. Aha! Okay, now we're making progress. We're doing it. And I think this leads to the chest. Yes. Hello. Well, we got... Alright, I need to take a look at the map of this place. Nope. Uh, let's see. Where is the map? Here is the map. Okay, two-floor dungeon. Uh, let's see. There, there. 
So it's just the basement and the first floor. What the? Aha! Well, the only w other way to go is past the the red goblin like character but if I have no idea how I'm supposed to take him out to open up the door I don't know how I'm supposed to get past it or how I'm supposed to progress in this dungeon hmm maybe bow and arrow it's worth a shot aha finally figured it out It's like a, it's like a Western quick draw. There we go, got him. Don't you run from me? I guess it makes sense. They do drop arrows in there for you. Oh, there's the map. Okay. Mm, bit complicated, but seems pretty doable. Always wondered. Nope. Alright. Ah, there we go. See bombs. Actually, wait, hold on. Okay, so it has to be something elsewhere in the dungeon. Just had to check on something. Oh, boy. So, I'm gonna guess it was probably something to do with the room that had, like, the big... That had the chest in the middle. So let's head back through here. Or not. Hmm. Let's check back here real quick. Just want to make double sure. Okay, well that opened that up. I just need a way to get across to there. Wait, hold on a second. Just wanted to do that to set that up. Let me take a look at the map real quick. See how to get to that adjacent room. Okay, so there is two ways. Alright, let's check over here now. Aha! Here we go. I think. Maybe. Okay, probably not. What am I missing, then? Damn. 
Man, how much health does the red one have? Jeez. There we go. Okay, so it is a one-way one. Uh, what am I missing then? I guess... Welcome to Zelda Pinball. Honestly, I think Zelda Pinball is actually a thing. I mean, they made a pinball of everything else, so there has to be, like, a Zelda pinball somewhere. Oh, wait. No. Never mind. Does this lead to this? So, where does this lead to? Right here. Mario Pinball, Kirby Pinball, Metroid Pinball. At least I would hope there's probably Zelda Pinball somewhere. Okay, well, that was a bust. So let's try this one. Great, of course. Health? Maybe? No? Bombs? There we go. Alright, this is the room with the, the flames. Thank you, please. Thank you. That was just for the chest. Okay, well, uh, let's see. I have to be missing something that's just staring me in the face. Oh my god, that was actually what I had to do. Wait a second. There it is. There we go. Oh, great, you guys again. All right. Oops. Hey, Daisy. it had to be one of these. The fact that it was a different color kind of gave it away. Alright. Dungeon item? Darkness. My old friend. I can't do anything with these things around. So, I guess... Oh, wait, me no, I can't do that, unless, oh, wait, wait, I got it. Do 
this. And now... Uh-oh. Uh, did I just get myself stuck? I did. Okay. Unless I can angle the boomerang somehow. No, I won't go past this. Great. Great. Ether, maybe? Nope. I'm stuck. How do you manage these things? It's a curse, I swear. Thank God I got the magic mirror. Otherwise, just... Ugh. All right, there's the chest over there that I think that's on an upper level, so I need to go back and get get to that one spot. This was the way I needed to go. Oh dear. Well, there's the boss or the dungeon item. Uh, oh, get off. You. I want you. I missed. Great. How about there's a compass? And down the staircase is darkness. Actually, give me a second. Let there be light. Hello. Hit detection for these rupees are a little weird. Pick it up. There we go. Now we have a fighting chance to get in the boss, uh, or boss, I keep saying the boss item, it's not a boss item, a uh, dungeon item. Just need, oh, I see. Ah, there it is. And I went the wrong way. Is this the exact same layout as the one uh, from the earlier dungeon? Or was it Hyrule Castle? I don't remember. It has been a week, so, you know. Oops. There's a chest down there. What do you got? Got a key! Alright, what is it? Okay, not what I thought it was going to be. We got the hammer. Drive the wooden stakes down into the ground. You can use it to pound other things, too. Ah, uh, yes. Now we have the ultimate weapon against horniness. Damn it. It was, it was delayed. <laughs> yes, Moon. <laughs> you know what, Moon? Just for that look. Is it not? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I 
<laughs> this game is giving me too much power. Alright, I need to go get the thing to get. Why is that not open? Hi, yes. Can you please stop that? No, get, oh, no, get down. Oh, down here. Come on. Come on. Follow the pink-haired lad. Oh, no! Co-conspirators, I swear. <laughs> no! The punk is mine! <laughs> well, there's that. Maybe if I just get the bow out and... Ah, oh, come on. Got it. I don't know if that's actually what you're supposed to do, but you know what? I trickshotted it, and that's all that really matters. I need to remember how to get up there, of all places. Yep, continue. Uh, let's see. I honestly don't remember how I'm supposed to get up there. Try, try shooting straight at it. Like, uh, from the platform with the, the bouncer is. I can't. That's on a lower level. The switch for it's on, up on a higher level. Damn it. Oh, it, it one hit kills the green ones at least. Alright, health. So now I can deal with these annoying turtle-like enemies. But now everybody gets the bonk. There's that. Nah, of course not. Was worth a shot. Okay, I see what, what you want me to do. Oh, dear! Nope, nope, you get away from me. Give me the lantern. Lantern! There we go. And I can't use it because I have no magic. Great! Oh, we're right at the boss area, huh? Alright. Oh, no! This is gonna go horribly, I just know it. Oh! 
high. Uh oh, oh boy. Ooh, how does that tail not hit me? Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, so it is actually breaking apart. Oh boy. Just takes a lot of hits. I swear, every time I... And I'm dead. No hit run. Well, I tried. At least it gives me another chance to try and go for that one chest. Oh, wait. I think I remember. I need to go up uh, through that one portal. I actually wonder if... Yeah, it works on that thing. Damn. Okay. But as I was saying, uh, every every time I hit the boss, it just sounded like he was just going like, Ow, ow, stop it. Why, why are you doing that? That's annoying. Does it also work on this? No. Okay, so it does not work on the red goblin guy. Got it. This should lead me right here. And right there is that chest I missed. And it's a... Hang on a second. Is there a room I missed? Yeah, there's a room right there, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get to it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Of course. All right, you know what? Bomb. Aha! Hello! Give me that net. I always believe that every dungeon has like a fairy fountain in it. You ask Rick Gasly to give you the movie up, but he says no, since he can never give you up. But in turn, he's letting you down, thus create a paradox. He also makes you cry if you really wanted to get up from him. So it creates like a double paradox. Oops. And then, of course, you go after him to to get the movie up from him by force if he's so unwilling to give it to you. And then it's just like, oh, well, I guess he's going to say goodbye then. Right. Turtle room. Hello. Eh, just worth a shot. Nope. Anything special? Nope. Uh, oh, 
it carries over to this room. Okay. All right, round two. This time I got it back up. Ow, ow, stop it. Okay, so try shot and then shoots in a square. Ow, 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 stop, it's annoying, ow. Ow, ow. There we go, got him. Shield is garbage. It's supposed to protect against fireballs. But evidently, the fairy was a liar. And dead. Give me that heart container. Hooray, I got a blue gem for Mischief Makers. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, it uh, the world was tr uh, transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even the, our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between worlds near, uh, near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you des will destroy Ganon. I'll return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead uh, to the Triforce. Oh boy. So we got to rescue the other six maidens. One's in apparently Dark Kakariko. I still wanted to see what my uh, dark evil house looks like. But the second maiden, uh, the second maiden seems to be down in the swamp. Then we'll go for number three in the Lost Woods. We'll just go in numerical order because I feel like that's what the game wants me to do. Or who knows? Maybe the game has a lot of freedom and it doesn't uh, say you have to do them in like numerical order. Jeez, that guy takes a lot of hits. There we go. I actually wonder. Okay, so it does take you back to the light world. We got a capo with a katsu be cam camo pattern. Probably. Or or like I I don't know, maybe like a, a camo like tabby pattern. Uh, so which here, I might as well show this off for some people who might be watching or watching the VOD and don't know the context to what Dragon is saying. Uh so earlier today, Dragon for whenever we do the Super Mario uh, 3D World run, he decided to go ahead and make this little Artemy as a as a Mario character. It looks adorable. Why can I not grab it? That's why. Let's 
put you that. Uh oh, what happened? Uh oh, uh oh. What 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 did I do? What did I do? What is going on? We uh oh. How did I break it this bad? Alright, so we got that. Uh, let's see. Get the vet up there. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Let me just... Uh, that, that will not work. Great. What is going on? All right, there we go. Got that back. Let's put that there. Let's put there. What is going? What is going on? Where'd the game? Where'd it go? Ladies and gentlemen, we might need to take a small break while I fix this technical issue. I'll be right back. Also, this probably would be a good time to take a break because we did finish a dungeon. So, I'm going to fix this issue, get something to drink, and then we'll be back and possibly get Kokoms on for tonight.
Okay. I'm back, and everything should be working now. Let's get back to the stream. There we go. Window is now open for CoComs as well. Alright. Everything should look good. And also, there's my dumb face in the chat. Well, so we'll keep him down there for tonight. I I just now realized that I did the old way of doing the style with the uh, hat matching the overalls. <laughs> oh yeah, that was an old old style they used, huh? Hi Moon. Hello. Hi Moon. You're a little low. You might want to adjust your mic. Just saying. Hello. There we go. There I'm we go. dead. Thank God I had life insurance. Fairy life insurance. Catch today. Now, these birds are n not being any help. Aren't they pterodactyls? <laughs> Demon birds. Last time I checked, pterodactyls don't have horns sticking out of their heads. I don't remember the species of pterodactyl that has that. Oh boy. Alright, what have we got in here? Moon? Moon? Mm. Yeah, Moon, your mic. Your, your mic is popping. What the hell are you? I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Ah, thank you. Better. They say there are a lot of tiny circles of rocks in the lake at the source of the river. I don't know what will happen, but it might be fun to throw something into it. See ya. Is that better? Yeah, you sound better now. Yeah, it fixed. Let me try this. See some pegs. I stand right here and use the mirror. I, I, I gotta do a player icon for myself, but the problem is, is the poofy hair and the horns. <laughs> <laughs> I also need to figure out who else is going to be joining us for this. Ooh, Fairy Fountain. Right. I will take that. It also took me an obnoxious amount of time to find a camo up. <laughs> ah. There was just a, a portal right there. And you now you have two ways back in the same spot. <laughs> yep. Actually, probably should go to the light world and see what we got in this area. I don't think I ever explored it when we were first traveling through it. Hello! Hmm. Well, what happened? Oh, yeah, um, I think we lost TBG. No, I'm here. Uh oh. I, I just, when I transported back to the light world, I landed right on top of an enemy. Uh, yeah, no, but I think Moon's right. I'm getting, there was, a, I'm unable to uh, get the video. <laughs> oh, what the hell's going on? Moon? Dragon? Yeah, no, I'm here. Okay. I'm, yeah, I just here, have a black like, screen. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting, like, some serious frame drops. I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a second. Let's see if it will clean itself up. No, it, oh, it's doing the opposite. Uh, let me try this. Uh, what's it going down to for your bit rate? Uh, bit rate is three hundred right now. Oh lord! All right, it's climbing back up. I think it's fixing itself. Okay, it looks like it's good now. Twice now, I've had to just hit zero and stay there. Yeah. <sighs> so, how are you two doing tonight? Well, I actually managed to draw something tonight, so I'm proud of myself on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a uh, house still up here. car shopping. <laughs> I think is that just a no? It looks like there's a house up there. And 
Oh, I no, wait, that, inspiration that, for your team. that oh. is the Dark Palace. I, I think I might take a little inspiration for your TVG, because once my uh, texture run comes in, I might pick up a camera and the TV and NES Lego set and do a stream building it. Nice. <laughs> You weren't here for uh, the Pokemon model building, but I actually did see like a physical box of the the NES Lego set. How expensive was it? Because on Amazon, it's two hundred and thirty bucks. I didn't ask. I just saw it in the background. I was I was on my way out of a store when that happened, so I, I only cut it at like the very end. But if I ever go back, to, I'll, I'll uh, see what the price for it is. I've seen the booklets for that set, and you get two of them, and they're massive. Oh, dear. Damn. All right, let's see what our evil house is. We're going to find Ravio? <laughs> 100 rupees for 30 bombs. 30 bombs for just 100 rupees. Please buy him, mister. I think it's just, yeah, it's, it's just you can buy 30 bombs for 100 rupees, not you can, uh, it increases your capacity or anything. I think it would be like a bomb bag. Mm. Mm. Kind of like glad Zelda got rid of the whole limited bomb thing, just one of those remote ones. Yeah, honestly, I, I kind of like it because, you know, bomb shoes were a thing and I like bomb shoes, even if they were completely useless. Aren't bomb chews so you can just, like, uh, throw them up to a wall and have them crawl? Yeah, they, they was just, oh, it's just a remote control bomb that you just set on the ground and then, uh, we just watch it scurry off. Who knows, maybe in Breath of the Wild 2 they might have a, a remote bomb chew. Who knows, maybe. I mean, technically Zelda kinda has something like that in Age of Calamity. I haven't, I need to get back to that game. It's like it's like her bomb ability. I think it turns it into like a mobile like uh bomb like thing. So it's kinda like a bomb chew, but not exactly. I remember the giant bomb chew missions in uh, the original Hyrule Warriors. Oh god. That's something I also need to go back to the OG Hyrule Warriors. After wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you find it for me? Then I will lend you my shovel. Good luck. You can dig in many places. You never know what you'll find. So can Link just not let these people use his magic mirror to go back with him? Evidently not. Alright, so he said that he buried his... Oops. He buried his flute around where the animals are. Hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna transport back all the way over here. There we go. Wait, wouldn't that be Gully, given this is something he did in, in Link Between Worlds? Maybe? It's been a long time since I played Link Between Worlds. Maybe it's not in the light world. Maybe it is in the dark world. Oh, I'd be in the dark world if he buried it before he got to the what to the dark world. Yeah, but he was playing it when he got transported. Hmm. Ah well, dig up everything. Ah yes, when a troll gets into an Animal Crossing town. <laughs> So, when Rez visits your town. <laughs> I remember I remember our first night playing Animal Crossing and Rez dug up the entire town on my island. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Dude, does he have to have best friend permissions to do that, though? Yes. <laughs> so why didn't you take them away? I'm, I'm too forgiving. <laughs> Maybe it's not... 
Unless he's talking I, about I, the lost wor uh, the lost woods. I need to get back to Animal Crossing. Yeah, they actually do have an event going on right now. I think it starts officially on the oh hi, on the fifteenth where they are doing festival. I keep looking over the chat to make sure you didn't swap it over to Frogger. Now, why would I do something like that? <laughs> oh, ye of little faith! Fuck, did I give you an idea? Mm -mm. No. Don't. <laughs> no. It's just looking over the player icon. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What? It's not Frogger, but, uh... <laughs> it's the donut. <laughs> Hello? Got a piece of fart. I heard you say you got a piece of fart. <laughs> I got gas. <laughs> oh, it's a Taco Bell. No, that was the other day. <laughs> oh my god. I, mean, I don't really like Taco Bell or Mexican food in general. Yeah, I never, never was a fan of it. The only thing I like is cheese steak quesadilla, and I mean that very literally. Just cheese and steak, and oh god, there he is. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take for you to notice. <laughs> He's always watching. Always. I damn you. Uh... Well, howdy, little wanderer, or light wanderer. You look like a straight shooter. Want to try your skill at the shooting gallery? I'll give you five shots for 20 rupees. If you're as sharp as I think you are, you stand to take the rupees. Or the t stand to break in the rupees. How about a stranger? Play. And carefully. Don't you also have one for when he's on intermission, too? I don't. I have a, fr uh, a gift from that stream. Wow, I suck. <laughs> Not a single one. Wow, because wow, <laughs> I was wrong about you. Not a sharp shooter at all. What? That should have counted. Okay, I wonder... It's a shuriken minigame all over again. Hey, I was good with the shuriken minigame. Okay, so the gloves do block your shots. You need to hit the Otorox. Can't you hit the toads grabbing the shurikens during that minigame? I don't know what you're talking about. This guy's head movements. Two. I can't tell what he's supposed to be. Is he supposed to be like a Redead or a Stalfos? If he was a Stalfos, I think he had more of a skeleton look to him. Yeah, you're right. I choked! He kind of looks like a clay monster, really. So, yeah, he's a Redead. Huh. But, oh, wait, aren't Redeads mummies, though? No, those are Gibdos. Oh. I suck. Come on. Come on. All right. Note to self, don't give TBG a bow and arrow. <laughs> Noted. Damn it. Actually, did you guys high schools make you do archery during gym? Uh, no. Mine didn't. Did yours? Yeah, mine did. Uh, that that would have been awesome. I would have loved to have done archery in, in school. I would have gotten more. I would have done more curriculums then. Uh, wasn't my first time doing archery though. I went to a place called Camp Neosa, and they had archery there as well. Like I remember the first time I did archery was at home, but I remember my school did like a Pioneer Day a long time ago. I think it was like for the fourth grade or something like that. It had an archery course in it. So how many windows did you break? Mm. Three. <laughs> Something miraculous did happen during it that I, only happened to me. So there was uh, one of the few things was candle wax making. They had, I think, like glass blowing. Whereas, like, you, you shape glass and make it. Or they didn't have you do it. They just uh, had, like, an instructor and you watched and just learned. 
One like, of the... I don't think Force Fairy should be doing that. Yeah. Uh, one of the things was fishing. And it was up by a pond. They gave us fishing poles, but with no bait on it. And it was like one of the, it was just like a, a, a pole with a string and a hook. It didn't have like a reel or anything. Hmm. So we all go cast our lines out and just, you know, know for a fact we're not going to do, do anything. Guess who out of everybody who did the fishing that day caught a fish? <laughs> you. Yes. How big was it? It was a pretty decent sized uh, bass, I believe. Jeez. Have you ever seen goldfish if they got released into like a lake or something? Yes, they get huge. Oh, they get so freaking huge. And they lose their orange color, too. They actually start turning brown. Hmm. What are you? I didn't have any of that stuff. <laughs> Neither have I. I've just seen a video on it. I just had regular PE, but even then I didn't take PE. I had a, a medical excuse. Oh, so. no. Oh, no. I just saw a rupee count. Uh, <laughs> 80 rupees, jeez. Uh, um, <laughs> nice rupee count. Uh, I will say... The other day, I freaking was at work, and everything, I am shitting you not, everything I did was, it either had started with 69, ended with 69, had 69 in it, was like, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, not nice. nice. What's well, a nice number? No, it's not. It was it, just it, like, why? It's a nice, wholesome number. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, I see I remember, what I need to do. I need to come back later. Because you see that? I remember that I, was, uh, mm -hmm. I was playing Sly, and my sister was seeing me play. I, I had 68 coins, and she told me to just grab one more. So, <laughs> And I I didn't understand it at the time, but she just started giggling to herself. And I was so confused. <laughs> and, then she, and then you were like, oh. <laughs> no, I, was, I wasn't like, oh. I was confused for the rest of the day. <laughs> Oh, no. But later in your life, you look back at it and we're like, oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. You guys your cousin to explain the joke to me. Well, I, th I think it was like the, the last thing I processed today, and it was, uh, six, 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 six. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't want to process this one. Why not? An Look. Where is this damn huh? flute? You guys ever in a gym class do prison ball? Maybe prison you're ball? gonna have to. Re you're gonna have to remind us of the rules. Dodgeball, but if you get hit, you go to the back of the room and you have to catch a ball to get back out. Oh yeah, that I love that when I did gym class. I I I, I didn't do gym class because I had a medical excuse. One of my favorites. Uh, it was way back. I think it was like second or third grade. Uh, it was a special kind of dodgeball where they would set up gym equipment to build like little forts or just like, uh, just set oh it up. Oh my and god, I never did that, but it sounds fun. Yeah, there was like, there was like a group of people in the middle and you had to keep running from position to position to try to, try not to get hit. And Wait, no, we actually did do that. We didn't build forts, we just had the thing set up and we just had to all take turns running and see if we could dodge. Yeah, it was <laughs> kind of like that. It was so fun. Ever do in indoor kickball and if you hit the top back of the room, you get a home run? No, we never did indoor kickball. We did a lot of indoor kickball. I mean, I did some PE when I was like in elementary school and some of middle school, but in eighth grade through high school, I was excused from it. Hello? Uh, it was 8th grade, me and a buddy, we were on the same team for a prison ball. Mm -hmm. And we went to go and try and attack the same person at the same time. So we throw it, 
We both miss, so we scramble, run into each other, and fall down, get up, and run in opposite directions. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so this is straight out of a cartoon. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> another another form of dodgeball that it, uh, my school used to do was like uh, what I like to call uh, war zone dodgeball, where they had if you got hit, you had to like fall to the ground and stay there, and like they'd have to have like someone else on your group come by pick you up and drag you all the way back to the wall that uh, your team was on to bring you back into the game <laughs> i never heard of that but that sounds stupid fun why did your freaking guys's pe sound more fun than mine at least <laughs> jesus <laughs> like a uh... freaking the last time i my pe the last time i did pe was the mile run and that was it oh <laughs> uh, we still did that that sucked I, well, I had to stop because, um, I was running and I had a, I had a horrible pain in one of my legs. And I was like, I can't keep doing this. This is hurting me. And I actually looked at my, and my PE just says, if you don't, don't do the mile run, I'll fail you today. And I said, go ahead. <laughs> I ain't fucking running. <laughs> and she failed uh... me. <laughs> Like uh, nice again, in eighth grade, I forget why we also had this option, but if we didn't want to do something, we had the option to go into a back part of the gym where we had weights and stuff, where a TV was set up with an Xbox One, and you could just dance on Connect instead. What? What? Yes, we had an option. We had an option like that sometimes in my um, gym class, and me and my friend always took it because that was actually really fun to do. So, how many other people also took it? Not many, actually. I think it was just me and my friend. Look, I had to write a goddamn essay. I had to write a freaking report on types of freaking um <laughs> exercises. It's like I don't. We just took a quiz on them. I don't want to do this. Can I just go to art class and be happy? Nope. Oh yeah. <laughs> no art for you. I actually took like two classes because I was excused after my uh, surgery. So. Uh... In my eighth grade art class, we I had I had a lot of classes as a friend actually. We teamed up and did a claymate a stop motion claymation. Mm -hmm. Nice. And basically the concept was it was just this blue stick figure. He got dragged into his TV and he went through a lot of different games. Hmm. And I think yeah, we ended up with him fighting Master Hand, which is just one of our hands fighting him. <laughs> and he got turned into a Smash Bros. trophy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I think the last, I, and it, it was middle school, and my, uh, I think what, what what were we doing? Oh, I think we were making clay stuff, like pots or something. I can't remember, but I had to go shake. I had to go start painting, and I shook the thing, the Mod Podge or whatever. And someone didn't secure the lid. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I sh I shook it and I okay. So I was dressed <laughs> really nice because I had to go out to dinner the ne that night. Oh with my no! Family. Oh no! I know where this is going. I don't like it. <laughs> I my skirt, my sweat, my shirt, my little high heel <laughs> shoes, brand new, brand <laughs> fucking. <laughs> New. Mm -hmm. Destroyed. Oh, and now you see, this God. is why you had that stuff set up for after you get home. I was like, <laughs> oh man, everybody just laughed at me. They were like, ah, ah, Megan got Mod Podge all over. It's like, this is not funny! I'm surprised Fuck you, did. you! I'm surprised you did not kill someone after that happened. I was so mad. And embarrassed because I had to, I had to walk around like that for the rest of the day. We we did gonna... something like that in my art class. I still actually have the two cups I made around my desk. 
I had a mask and I don't have it anymore because the fucking thing creeped me out. <laughs> so you created a cursed mask. How it how it looked at you would have thought it was a cursed mask because it was fucking creepy. <laughs> we we made Samson Meyer class and I still have mine. It's a uh, it's like Foxy when he comes into the room in FNAF form when he jump scares you. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> Why not? No, thank you. It's like the least scary jump scare in the entire game. <laughs> he just pops like, hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing in here? Boo. <laughs> I got it right here actually. I'll uh I'll set it into art. I remember we had to uh it we were studying like clay pottery or like uh mm -hmm. clay statue making in my art class and mm -hmm. I actually have the bust that I made a long time ago somewhere. I think it's in like a ca cabinet or something. Mhm. Mm and it was just like you had the, the theme of it was abstract. Oh, so God. So I, I had, like, the eyes sticking out of the top of the head. I had its mouth <laughs> up where the eyebrow usually would be. Oh, yeah. Ah, fuck. I, I, I sent in the stamp. I remember doing those. I hated doing that. <laughs> Oh yeah, that I actually had. I actually had to make that as well. I think you all kind. Of, I think it could, didn't it have to like contrast with negative and positive? Yes, actually. Hold on, I have. I still have when I stamped it on my wall. Let me take a picture of it. I need to see if I can find my stamp. I think what I did was like a... Uh, it was like a, a hillside scenery because it had to do with, like, perspective. Oops, wrong way. I don't think I have anything from my high school days. I think I got rid of it. <laughs> As one usually would do. Uh, I mean, I have, like, some of the pictures I drew and stuff, but not my stamp and, and that creepy-ass mask. <laughs> I think I'm missing out on something. Or not. Alright, send a picture in. Okay. Uh, give me just a second. I <laughs> screwed something up. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice. That looks, that looks pretty good. I, I, I think the scratchy nature that I accidentally did kind of helped it. <laughs> no, it looks good. Thank you. Yep. Do this. Push you up. There we go. I just realized my, my full name is on it still. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it, so it's all good. Yeah, I don't know where half my... I, it's probably in my closet or it's out in the garage and I am not going out there. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. You, you don't want You don't want to dig out your cursed mask? No, I don't want to go out there because there's a big-ass rat in my garage. I'm not going out there. What? Yeah. There's a Call big... exterminator. Set up a trap. We have traps set up, but like one morning I was going out to go start my car and all of a sudden I hear this... <laughs> And I look up, and there's this big brown rat just running out of the fucking boxes. I was like, nope. <laughs> Squeak. 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 I hate rats. I hate rats. Uh, multiple times when we used to keep our dog food in a bed in the garage, even though we had the lid closed down, like the latches and everything, there'd be mice in the dog food. They find ways. Yeah. They, it, did you say it was a a bag or like a a tub? It was a tub, and we had to let the lid latch down. Uh, I was gonna say if it was a bag, then they, they would have just eaten straight through the bag. Yeah. They find ways. <laughs> they're not freaking smart. <laughs> they find ways. They're uh, not smart. Want I said there's. Mm -hmm. Did I ever show the? Uh the cuphead mug my art teacher did and I painted. 
I Cup, don't think head. so. Uh, yeah, he made a few of them, and I the one I painted and glazed, he let me keep. Nice. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I'm terrified of rats. I don't like them. I had a very bad experience with a rat one time, and... Yeah. Never again. <laughs> Oh, this place is a maze. All right, well, there's a door down Big here we, we didn't go through. Yeah, this is new. So, I see oh, what the gimmick to this dungeon is, is we need to raise the water level to get to the boss. Hmm. My biggest concern right now is where the hell is the damn dungeon item? <laughs> or, or not the dungeon item, the, the big key. So that way I can get the dungeon item, because it's just smack dab right in the middle of the, the main room. Mm -hmm. It's just sitting there, taunting me, mocking me, saying, I'm right here, but you can't use me. Hmm? Say again? Uh, I'm sending a few pictures. I, I, I forgot I took pictures of me, of me in the process of making it, too. Oh, that looks really nice. That's good. Yeah, he, he he made the uh the mold and then I painted one of them. Alright, let's see. Nice. There's a chest there. I can actually drink out of it too, and the straw actually works. That's awesome. Like... That's gotta be a pretty big straw then. Oh yeah, no, it is. That's right. really cool. Uh let's see. So I can't get up. Need to use it more. It's in it's in our uh, mug cabinet. But it's Cuphead, not Mugman. Why is it in the mug cabinet? Because it's it's like it's set up like a mug. All right. Looks like I missed something back this way, so I'm gonna head back there. If it's a, it's probably just a chest with, I don't know, rupees in it. I mean, it's still more money. I guess. But we're almost up to 500, so I think we're good on money at this point. <laughs> I guess I want to be richer. <laughs> oh, no, wait. That's not a chest. That's a door frame. <laughs> but this, however, is something I missed. Yeah, I took two forms of art classes. I did uh, regular art, and I did photography. Here is the and... map. Uh, I did regular art in middle school, and then for two years, like 11th and 12th grade, I did digital art and design at a place called Polaris. Mm. And for my senior year, I took a painting class. I took painting, I took regular art, photography, and acting. So. What was nice about Polaris is that uh, I only had three periods throughout the day, and then the rest of the day was Polaris, which I had to take a bus to go to. Mm. Oh, so it's like a run and start thing. Yeah, like uh, 11th grade, I had three periods in the morning, then after... No, after morning was Polaris, then afternoon was regular school. Mm -hmm. And then 12th grade, it was regular school in the morning, then Polaris in the afternoon. Yeah, we had something like that. Ours was, like, Snow Isle, so, like, all the kids would go to Snow Isle in the morning, they'd be back in the afternoon. Mine never had something like that. It, everything was always on site. Uh, players you had to get accepted into. Ah. Yeah. It, it's it, it's same with, like, Snow Isle. You had to be accepted into it, and you had to have, like, fairly good skills, because, like, Snow Isle was culinary and computers. I mean, it was a little of everything, so you had to be really good at what you wanted to do in those in that school stuff. Ah, okay. I don't know if uh, this went for other classes, but only for digital and design, they took in anyone of any art skill to try and help improve them. <laughs> I did digital art for <laughs> three months and I hated it. <laughs> more more of a traditional art? No, I just, my teacher, she, she, 
She was a bitch. <laughs> My wow. teacher was nice, but he wasn't exactly a good teacher. Because uh, especially in the second the second year, he would just send it to Linda.com. I'm lucky I had my friend Gabe, he, especially second year, he sat next to me, so he really helped me out a lot. And mm -hmm. it really actually gave me a lot more use to using uh, drawing tablets. Hmm. Well, also nice is that we got to use MacBooks. Not MacBooks, like actually like full on Mac computers. Nice. With a bunch of Adobe stuff on them. Very nice, very nice. All right, uh, there has to be something I'm missing. Which I miss them because say what you want about Apple, but Macs are actually really good computers. <laughs> you say, well, TBG, but my teacher called me a bitch. Whoa. How are they teaching still? I don't know. I don't know how she was still teaching, but that's what she called me. Because I wasn't talented enough, so she decided to call me that lovely name. And I found my fourth grade teacher calling my whole class idiots because we uh we failed a high a high school level school uh, science test when we were a bunch of fourth graders. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yes, she called our whole class idiots, ripped the papers up in front of us when it was a high school level science test. Or fourth graders. God, I hate these ice things. I don't know what they are, but they are super annoying, and the fact that I cannot use my shield to protect myself against them sucks. Uh, Moon.exe has crashed because she cannot comprehend what she just heard. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the big key. I'm lucky second year for sixth grade I had her again. She was much better. Maybe she went to therapy. <laughs> and dead. Oh, well. Actually, two teachers. Uh, hey, Arrow. There was... But the same teacher I had before, she did, like, uh, language arts and all that. And then mm -hmm. the other teacher, who we called Mr. Lip, he did uh, he did all the science and math stuff. Mm-hmm. Mr. Lip was a lot of fun, because uh, one of the science experiments he had us do was actually figure out how many licks it took to get to a center of a Tootsie Pop. I had to do that, too. <laughs> did, did, you, did you just say three? <laughs> I think one of us did as a joke. But, but no, I think I got, like, what? 163 licks until I got to the center. Wait, did you actually have to count them? Yes. Oh. It was a science project. It was a fun one, though, and then we got Tootsie Pops, so I don't care. Hookshot! <laughs> Did your uh, teacher tell you about the little uh, Indian guy with the arrow and star that comes on some of the rappers? No. Yeah, no, my teacher told me about that. I know every time we get Tootsie Pop, I see if I got the uh, the Indian guy on there. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually pretty rare to find. What's the spe what's special about that? Uh, nothing really. It's just like it's it's fun to see if you got him on there because he's not always on it. Huh. But I think he no. made a story up saying that he checked every Tootsie Pop, and if if he ch no if he sp he checked your Tootsie Pop, he appeared on the wrapper. <laughs> All right, let's try this way. Nope. Hello, there it is. Well, you TBG, do you have any fun science projects you guys had to do? Uh, let me think. <laughs> I can think of one that I did a long time ago. It was... Now, when you say fun, do you mean fun fun or fun quote unquote? Fun fun. I mean, like, fun fun. Uh, fun fun. Let me think. I'm trying to think. It's been so long that those memories have been buried deep. Uh, eighth grade, no, yeah, seventh grade. My history teacher, she had us build castles, like actually, like, get the materials and build a castle. Oh wow! Like, like it wasn't like a fall, it was like a mini one, but it was still a lot of fun. 
And then in mm-hmm. eighth grade, my science teacher, we did the classic bottle rockets. Uh, I, w- <laughs> I wish we could have done bottle rockets back in back in my day. Yeah, <laughs> I we, sound super we, uh... old just saying it, being like, back in my day, we, <laughs> we could have done bottle rockets. <laughs> um... Damn it. I, I think it what, what I think it was fifth fifth grade year and this was like a big thing we had to do and it was our it was the annual science fair so I had to do a science fair project and I grew crystals oh. mm-hmm. and everybody was like oh my god this is so cool guess who got first place in the science fair you me. <laughs> Me. Don't don't you dare. <laughs> the person who made the baking soda volcano. I was about to say. <laughs> Actually, the, someone did not No, No one did that. Really? A I'm school never, science I'm, fair I'm, and I'm no one made a baking soda fair. volcano? I find that impossible to believe. No, really. They're, everybody did, like, they wanted you to, like, do some serious... Tough stuff. <laughs> Did anyone do a potato battery? Yes. <laughs> it did that. I, I remember that. But I, I think I made a battery, but it wasn't with a potato. I think it was with something else. I, I really it. enjoyed doing, doing the crystals. Labs. Like, you had to grow crystals. Like, for me, for my crystals that I did... You, I grew some in light, and I grew some in the dark to see which one would grow faster. The ones in the dark grew faster. <laughs> okay. Now I remember uh, there was something that I did that was like a, a big uh, project. Mm-hmm. It was for home ne- economics, and it was basically, oh, hey, you, you got to so, uh one of these uh, patterns one it would make like a pillow or, or you can make like a, a felt like plush mm. and I went with the felt plush and it was a giant football that's about the size of my torso huh Jeez. and I still <laughs> have it somewhere <laughs> I you gotta see to this find it. it's in the picture I, I, I will do my best to try and find it oh wait I- I wonder. I, I wish I had my crystals still, but uh, sadly we had to throw those out because the crystals all fell off the rocks that they grew on. So, does that day at day. Aha! It does. Uh, a, another thing we did in Mr. Lip's class is we had a bunch of groups and we made toothpick bridges and hung like a like a cup of water on it to see how much it could take before breaking. Uh, oh, my. I, my wood shop class did that, but it was with balsa wood, and it was literally we just stuck weights on at the bottom of it to see how much weight it would take before it would collapse. I never took a wood shop class. This is for uh, the science class in sixth grade. Hmm. I had to do that too. I think we had to build the bridge thing and see which one would. But I, I think it was like groups of two, like one person, one person would we build had groups one of to... four. I think. I think it was two for me. I can't remember. But uh, when we were doing uh, sex ed in sixth grade, <laughs> Mr. Lip, do you want to know what kind of video he put on? Oh no! <laughs> Hardcore <laughs> pornography. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna no. go there. <laughs> 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 No, I think I think Dragon's a little red. Video of, of, of a guy called uh, it was just like this generic cartoon character called Doctor D. <laughs> Doctor D. <laughs> yes, his name was Doctor D. <laughs> at, at this point, no, too, too easy. <laughs> I know it's too easy of a joke. <laughs> No, I was going to make another joke, but it was too easy. I didn't want to break Moon more than she already is right, right now. <laughs> Just do it, I? god you, damn it. Did you guys classes of science classes ever do uh, Brain Pop with Tim and Moby? Aha, there it is. Huh? Brain Pop? I don't yeah. think so. 
Oh, my my eighth grade teacher always puts those on. They were always they were always fun little videos. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. If our if we were gonna learn science, it was Bill Nye the science guy. Oh yeah, we had Bill Nye as well, but like when I got into eighth grade, the my teacher had this little site called Brain Pop. Uh no, we had Bill Nye. Bill Nye was the one. <laughs> when our teachers put on Bill Nye, we were like, it's Bill Nye! Yeah! Anytime anyone in my class would put on Bill Nye, literally everyone in the classroom would just start s screaming the, the theme song. That's what everybody did, too. Every <laughs> like, you could hear it from the hallways, you just hear it, Bill, 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 Bill! <laughs> Oh, I got, I got, because you, you were, you were talking about your, your Dr. D. <laughs> we, we had to watch, um, the Miracles of Life video oh, in my class, and I didn't watch it because I didn't want to, and all of a sudden you hear a thunk, 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 you hear three thunks, you look over, there's, like three boys passed out on the fucking floor. Like, <laughs> like from they fainted. They <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I I thought the thunks were coming from like the video or something. You had to take a peek at it. No, no, it was all the boys. I just was like in the memes. All the boys just they all fainted. <laughs> I said it's playing in the next door. <laughs> bell, 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 bell. Yo, I never watched the Netflix series he got. From what I heard, it's I not great. Like it, it tried to incorporate the the at the time the the hip style that it was. That was like mid, uh, mid to late twenty tens. Mm -hmm. They didn't, uh, didn't Bill himself say the world on fucking fire? Yes, <laughs> he did say mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> word for word. Amazing. But that's totally accurate, right there, Dragon. Because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you knew, you knew the teachers were like, "All right, let's all watch Bill Nye." And all of a sudden, you hear the TV, "Bill, Bill, Bill." Oh, they're watching Bill Nye. And we're stuck doing math. <laughs> I hate, I hated math class. Uh huh. Uh, I I remember my math class. I was, I believe, freshman high school year. the The teacher we had was. Probably what you would consider an ultimate hard ass. Oh no, no. Like, like if, if anyone wasn't paying attention, or anyone was late on their work, or anyone was not paying attention during the class, or was asleep, he would get incredibly pissed off. Like, holy hell, he was so angry at times. His, it's like. You know, know where someone, they're not yelling, they're not being loud, they're not shouting, but you can see, like, their face getting redder as they, they talk and oh, just it's face starting up. to pop up. Yeah. That's how Hell he yeah. was. Oh, Lord. My, uh... He was a great teacher, fourth... but just no one wanted to get on his bad side. <laughs> my 12th grade teacher, math teacher, he was, oh, he was great. Literally every class, we would just do something on the computer real quick, like a quick lesson, then literally the rest of class was whatever we wanted to do. Nice. That was actually, no, like, I believe, my third year in woodshop, which was like, okay, uh, today we're we're gonna just look up patterns. Okay, now you're done. You can go do whatever. And I just play computer games. That was in the the <laughs> little computer lab that was in the woodshop area. We got we got to keep Chromebooks in my twelfth uh, grade year. We had Chromebooks nice. on us. But uh, freaking yeah, no, like it was really like. 10 minutes of doing an assignment and then once we're finished we could do whatever we want so guess what me and my friends did a whole class since we had switches and smash bros was out oh no <laughs> we literally like every class just just did local play in smash ultimate <laughs> nice nice 
There was, um, I had a, I had a math teacher that was like that in middle school, and <sighs> brace for impact for the guy's last name. <laughs> oh no, was it D? No. <laughs> Jeff Whitehead. <laughs> Please tell me he was at least so old. He was probably in his mid forties. Ah, uh, damn it! I was gonna say, did he have white hair? Uh, he was blonde. Does that count? No. Damn it! <laughs> you know what sucks? We had a white teacher called Mister Black, but we had no black teacher called Mister White. Damn it! Oh my god! The joke didn't work then. <laughs> I know, like me, everyone, like even even Mr. Black himself was so upset because like I want the joke to work. <laughs> Any, he, uh, I hear, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, anytime I hear the joke of the two characters named Mr. Black and Mr. White, all I can think of is fucking Johnny Test. I was about to say Johnny Test. Oh my god. Oh uh, god. You no, know, and agent? no. Before anyone asks, I'm not gonna add the stupid whip crack sound effect to the soundboard. <laughs> My my friend, I have a friend who unironically likes Johnny Test. <sighs> Ugh. Also, if you really listen, the theme is ripping off American Idiot. Yeah, that, that was one thing. Uh, also, the voice of Ratchet is Johnny, and that just ruined Ratchet and Clank for me. <laughs> Wait, is it the same voice actor? Yes, that's uh, James Arnold Taylor. Oh my. God, I didn't even know that. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> I, I remember the the Pokemon spoof they had in that show. Oh, uh, yeah. God. Oh, God. That, yeah. that was probably just... It was just so annoying. Because it was just one joke they beat over your head over and over again. Yep. Then again, that was basically most of Johnny Test. Yeah, Johnny Tess was, uh, it just was not a good show. <laughs> There's one show I'm now remembering, uh, Total Drama Island. Uh, First season was good, second season, okay, and then it just kind of fell apart. I hate it. Uh, I kind of like the season where they return to the island, it's all, like, covered in radioactive waste now. <laughs> Wasn't that the second season? No, that was like way later. Like when they like got rid of the old uh, cast and brought in some new contestants. Uh, I see I... that like Total Drama Island to me was like kind of like the start of reality TV for kids. Put <laughs> up the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of uh, Bombos. Bombos. Uh, actually, fun fact: I kill the vulture. You got it. You got the Bombos they medallion. Had a, they had two endings for if either Owen or Gwen won in the first season. Oh, I, I always wondered how that show went. Was it actually like based off of like viewer input, or was it set and they just decided to go with one ending? I think the ending was viewer input. Ah, okay. But they made both just, in case, just to be on the safe side, so they had both ready to go. All right, that makes sense. I think the ones no, I really know... enjoyed. Sorry, go on. <laughs> you know, you want to when uh, they really just kind of ran its course. Mm. They did something called Total Drama Rama. And it was just the main cast as kids oh, no. in a daycare. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I got scared for a second. I thought, oh no, am I stuck in a perpetual t uh, loop going back and forth between the worlds? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> was like, oh no, to be bring up the show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. D don't. Oh my god, why? What? Wait, what? what? Look at. Look at your. Look at your rupees. Look at your rupees. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, wait. Fuck. Nope. I need. I need. I need green. I need green. No. Not blue. No. Not blue. <laughs> no. Not blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> why is it all blue in here? TVG, you can say they're blue balling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, so, what? so many birds! Birds! Uh, fucked out. 
I need to go back to the ferry. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Can you heal me, please? Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, I swear. What am I going to do? <laughs> uh, endure our jokes. Hey, TVG, what, what made you become an alcoholic? Well, here are my mods. I'll let you put Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Freaking brat. <laughs> <laughs> oh god ah uh, my Wait, favorite place to visit the to... swamp of evil have you gone to the to the sign guy yet where you know he followed you in the dark world yeah that's where that's where i was earlier he's not in the dark world oh no you know uh, what you know what i got an idea what? oh just no put the mirror right there Oh no. And there he is. Why are there so many birds here? <laughs> tweet, tweet, <laughs> motherfucker. You messed with the wrong sign. Nope, he doesn't follow you. Damn it. He's Why probably going to be really confused. He's just like, where'd this punk kid go? What the hell? He's trying to. <laughs> Pops out of existence. Bye! <laughs> it's like fucking Goku and DBZ abridged. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, another cartoon series I thought that was really good was The Kids Next Door. Kids, Kids Next Door is a classic. Do you, uh, I miss that. The creator that. wanted to bring it back, but like have be a little bit more from uh, older audiences and it's taking place in space and all that. Yeah, uh, glad to Kids Next Door. Yeah, but Cartoon Network turned it down. Why? Because Cartoon Network obviously can't freaking afford uh, it, it anymore. It, it depends on what Cartoon, what era it was being pitched. Because if it was during mm -hmm. the broken era known as CN Real, then I could see why he got shot down. Uh, I think it was entering our broken era, the preschool era, because they're going to start rolling out kid uh, preschool shows. Yeah. <laughs> Ed and Eddie freaking that, that, missed that no. show. Oh, the whistles are in my head now. Uh, man, I, hmm? I, I, the entire series is on YouTube, and I rewatch the episodes from time to time. Ed and Eddie? Yes. Mm. The, the series, all the uh, holiday specials, which is like one of the very few series that actually does a Valentine's Day special, which I always found weird. Uh, well, how many other series... Sorry. Remember Fusion Fall. Yes. Uh, no. I God, I so lost. Weird. I lost count of how many hours I dedicated to to that game. I was I was like, in that I was still in that phase where I played games but didn't really understand what I was doing in them, so I had no idea what I was doing in Fusion Fall and what it was about. I I remember I w was I was there playing when it was like huge and there's like big like groups that were built uh around the fusion fall and stuff mm -hmm. and it, it was still for an mmo it was still kind of bare bones and repetitive but oh, for some one, reason though. it was it still drew a lot of people to it it's like that i don't don't recognize that <laughs> What were you saying, Moon? I said I don't recognize it. That doesn't sound familiar. F Fusion Fall was Cartoon, uh, Cartoon Network's uh, MMO. It was basically an alien race invades the Cartoon Network world, which was basically the CN City era, which, which you know, is the best era. Mm-hmm. And so it was basically uh, you would fight alongside members of your favorite cartoons. So you had like Ed and Eddie, Kids Next Door, Billy and Mandy, uh, Fosters, uh, Powerpuff Girls, all that stuff. They you'd like fight alongside them hmm. and try to you know save the world. Okay. And oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. There, there was, like, you could get, like, little mini chibi, like, characters of your favorite Cartoon Network characters, 
and they would give you like little power ups. Okay, I th I think I know what you're talking about now. I just had to like wait. What? <laughs> oh, I just fucking look into this. Uh, you know how people did a uh, Toontown rewritten? Yes. Yes and no. Uh, there's some a team did something similar for Fusion Fall. Fusion Fall called Fusion Fall Retro, a Cartoon Network uh D them. Yeah, so they they, they tried to revive it, and then Cartoon Network was like, no. Ah, oh, <laughs> that sucks. Because I remember something about that, but I couldn't remember if it was still up or not. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, that got shot shot down. Which sucks, because it looks like they were in like the final stages of it. And it was just like, okay, we just need to publish and, uh, out to go, and then that's when Cartoon Network hit them with the DMCA. They're like, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Toontown's lucky because they removed the Disney character, so I guess Disney doesn't really care that much because of that. Yeah, it, you take away the Disney characters, it's just, oh, hey, it's a cartoon-like town thing. I guess, I guess since they're not really using our property, we can't really do anything about it. Well, the, yeah. well Disney still owns the rights to Toontown, so... And there is a Toontown part of Disneyland, so... True. I, I legit have a resentment towards Club Penguin, because it was Toontown's replacement. <laughs> Club Penguin? You don't yeah, know about Club, Club Peng Penguin? Kinda, sorta, I do. It, it was just it's basically... It's been a minute. It, it, <laughs> Club Penguin, it was a, just a big meme of a game. Uh-huh. We play it, as a penguin. You it, it, pay a membership account just so you could be a penguin and go to these weird different little mini game events. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I yeah, I didn't then, do that. And then Club Penguin died, everybody got sad. Hello. Let's see. <laughs> carry more bombs, carry more arrows. Mm, ten bombs, thirty arrows, we're going with bombs. Carry fifteen bombs at maximum. And, uh, freaking, you know, I, I, you go from this, like, legitimately, like, kind of thought out MMO thing to mm -hmm. a, just a weird minigame question you have to pay a monthly subscription to. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really get to do a whole lot of computer stuff as a kid, because my mom was like, nope. <laughs> GBG, do you remember Webkins? The name sounds familiar, but I, I don't I, remember what it was. It was that something like with plushes that you had to get from yes, stores? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, then the yes, I do, because my then. sister used to collect those things. My sister collected them, too. too. <laughs> Everybody's sister collected web kittens. I think we still got them no, somewhere. Uh, both me and my sister did oh. it. Okay, well, we're if we're in the, the world of old MMOs that are no longer relevant. Uh, anyone remember Neopets? <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. I, I just fucking I knew, knew it. <laughs> I know. I know oh about my it. god. I wonder if I still have my account. <laughs> okay, here's one that it's not really an MMO, but it was sub, it had an MMO like feel to it, but I doubt uh -huh. anyone's going to remember these. Uh, anyone remember Funkies? What? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, uh, sounds familiar. Funkies was a PC game that basically worked like uh, Skylanders or Amiibos. Uh, okay. You would have... You would have <gasps> oh, and now I need you know to what? No, about. you know what? I, I can do you one better. I actually have them somewhere in the office. Hold on a second. Oh, no. <laughs> we're, get, we're going live, people! Okay. I know what you're talking about now, though. I, I I have a friend who who used to have them. I think he went away. He's, I think he's away. And he's off. God, I knew he was gonna bring up Neopets. I was like, he's gonna say, he's gonna say, I knew it. <laughs> I know nothing about Neopets. Oh my god! It. Uh... I think. <laughs> <laughs> just, just this is gonna sound terrible. Uh, I think it was the start of the generation of the furry. <laughs> 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 it's just, it, 
It just makes perfect sense. It's like, oh, look how cute these little creatures. It's all connected. Oh my god, no wonder these people identify themselves as a fucking wolf or cat or dog or centaur. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I guess I'm a dragon. <laughs> It's just, oh my god, that was so funny. I, I you know remember. What the funny I... thing is, my profile picture isn't even how I represent myself online. That character's name is Drew, and he's more so just a mascot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I switch my picture a lot, so obviously. <laughs> That's me. No, I, I have. I have a, a actually like a late a very latest drawing of my myself, but I was I was commissioned a different my friend. I should go find it really quick. Mm. Okay, I'm back. Weba. Moon was talking about furries. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What did I miss? <laughs> I was saying that because I you said Neopets, and I was like, okay, this is how the furry generation all started. It was because of fucking Neopets. <laughs> you know it be true. Right, so, everybody, everybody can see uh, the desktop, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Nice keyboard. Yes, I remember those. Yes. Yeah, so I never had the, anybody. These them. were the funkies. It was basically, you had this little, like, uh, USB thing. You would take oh, uh, uh, one of these little figures, and you would stick it to the back of them. And then it would allow you to play different minigames. You would go to different zones. And they were basically, like, the predecessor to Skylanders and Amiibos. And I was kind of a junkie for them back in the day. So I, okay, I, I I've got those, like a whole yeah. bunch. These things ha have so much dust on them, like holy hell. <laughs> and there, there, there was like there was like there was like three different versions of them. So it's like uh, each one had different colors, so it was based on rarity. And there, there was just so many of them. Uh, somewhere I think ah, there it is. They did a crossover with the live action Speed Racer movie. So th here's uh, Racer X. Nice. Uh, let's see. This one was from the the island. Uh, yeah, no, not that one. And you no. You were. Uh, this one was from one of the expansions I actually collected the entire set for, which was the the island expansion. Okay. But yeah, th these were just like some fun things to collect. I think they go for a pretty decent price nowadays, but I think. At the time when they first came out, they were five to ten dollars a figure. Mm hmm. And er, let's, I'm just gonna show you the entire box just to show you how many I've collected over the year. How many were there in general? Uh, let's see. There's a few. <laughs> uh, there, there was a list of them somewhere. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Here, here's an actual checklist of all the ones you could get in the game. Uh, let's see, this one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have anything cool to show. <laughs> Let me do this, just so people can see. So here, oh, wow. there, there was like three different colors of them, which was based on rarity. So you got like uh, Boggle right here, which was green, black, and brown. You got Bones, which was black, red, and white. Deuce, Twink, Scratch. They had so many different varieties of them. Mm -hmm. so, so they came in different colors too? Yeah, different colors for different rarities. So there's like Series 1, Wave 1, Series 1, Wave 2... Series 2, which was the Island DLC released. Man, these things were back in the early tw 2000s. I thought they were, I thought they were like, 
even earlier, or late 2000s. So you got like the the, the flurries, nibbles, souls, and webbies. You've got the Speed Racer series, which you get uh, Chim Chim, Racer X, Speed, mm. Snake Oiler, Trixie, mm. and then let's see, Speed Racer series 2, but that got canceled actually. Then here was Series 3, which was the Dream State, which I think I have... Yeah, I, I, got, the, I got the Mummy one. And I think I got the Vampire 2 somewhere. But anyways, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, here, here was an exclusive to Kmart, which is why you have uh, this guy. Uh, this. They have exclusives? <laughs> yep. Uh, Kmart exclusive was the Henchman, Master Locks, and Mas Master Say So. The target. Is Kmart even still a thing? I think so, but at very limited capacity. Uh, Target had exclusives, which was the Funky Key Native. Uh, I didn't even know they these were, uh, exclusives in Targets either. Let's see. Dream State was Series Wave 2, and then Series 4 was when it ended. Which, it, I think it had, like, a, a fighting game. There's a Sam Fisher one! Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's just a these straight up Sam Fisher. These don't look like they were hard to make. They just had to re uh, repaint these things and then put different programming on them. Yeah, that, that's exactly what, what they were. All that really mattered was this thing on the bottom because that's what you had to stick on to the usb reader and that's what would read what uh funky you had to play with the 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 <laughs> color and like the designs for them were just pure window dressing <laughs> nice but yeah this is a this is an old series that a part of me kind of wants to I think I know where the, the CD is. If I can actually get that running, I might actually do a stream of revisiting that game. But there's a problem with it. Servers are down. Not that. I, I don't think it ran on servers because it was it was a single player game. Although it had mm. oh. it had some multiplayer elements, but it was mostly single player. I it's thought that, it was the whole server thing. Uh uh, it's the fact that I don't know if it can run on the computer because it's still pretty old, and sometimes old CD-ROMs don't work well with, uh, modern computers. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one of the things, because I have, um, I have a newer laptop, but I can't play, like, Vampire the Masquerade, the, like, the first one, because my laptop's too new, and the game is, like, 1996. My lap doesn't have a disc tray. I have it on Steam, so. <laughs> also, Moon, this is how this is the commission I have my friend do. This is how I actually how I actually present myself online. <laughs> Alright, back to throwing my money away. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, give me more bombs. Wait, you well, you're paying a uh, a fairy, right? Yes. Simp. <laughs> I'm waiting for the bonk. There it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Well, one of the maidens is in there, but we can't do anything yet. Uh, how do we get... We can't get there unless it's our way up. No. I guess maybe... Oh, there it is. I see it. I do want to see what's over and... Damn it. Don't... God, this thing is so annoying! Be right back a second. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm dead. For any math classes, like middle school or high school, even even like elementary, did a math teacher ever put on a v a VHS of Donald Duck learning numbers or something? Uh, Donald Duck in Math Magic Land, I think it was called. 
Yeah, because I, I remember my uh, pre algebra teacher in eighth grade doing that for us. So I time. don't recall that happening in school, but I know for a fact I do have the VHS of it somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I took a computer class eighth grade, and my teacher, good lord, I don't think she understood how vocab works. Because uh, she had us, you know, look up the vocab words and then take notes down on the computer so we can ha look at them if I'm look up the words. And so, you know, what I would do is, you know, I had my I had my document, I would put up the word, the next word I would just type in its definition. You know, just look over and, like, type it over into uh, uh, the document, right? Mm-hmm. She said, no, you can't do that. It's plagiarism. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, well, I, I'm taking down vocab notes. I'm putting out a definition so I can read it later. No, plagiarism. <laughs> I didn't understand her at all. Hello? Hookshot. This better be good, whoever it is is. Uh, Link, did you know that if you destroy frozen enemies with a hammer, you will often get mag uh, a magic uh, decan decanter? A lot, I was thinking I did a lot in that class, which is going to Google Earth and explore the White House. Roll out the welcome wagon, boys! Thanks for the host, Daisy. That. I guess let's try it on you. Oh, just for magic power. Mm. For, actually, no, she was actually the reason I have a original Pikachu Pokemon card from Nintendo. Nice. Nice. H have you heard like the, the, the seriously messed up stuff people are doing now that, since we're on the topic of Pokemon cards? No, what are they doing? On. So McDonald's is doing like a thing where they are putting Pokemon cards out. So people are going right. out to buy them in mass and scalp them. What? Yeah, they're people... scalping Happy Meals now. They're yeah, they're, they're literally scalping Happy Meals. <laughs> I don't. What the fuck? <sighs> Really? Yep. It's That's a Come on, please tell me. Uh, is it in here? Nope. One of these waterfalls I could go into. Because it happened in the light world, but I don't remember which one it was. I know it was a double waterfall. Oh, yeah, do you guys want to hear a funny but embarrassing story for me? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, in fourth and f in fourth grade, I made friends with a kid, but in fifth and sixth grade, he turned bully on me for whatever reason. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, I th if, I think it was in sixth, no, yeah, sixth grade, because that's when he moved away. I was sitting at my lunch table talking, you know, just with my friend, and I had a chocolate milk with me, and I, I hadn't opened it yet. Mm -hmm. Now, I was a very angry kid. Like, I got angry easily. Mm -hmm. And he pissed me off so much that I was holding my milk. I crushed it. The milk flew into the air, then landed on my head. Wait. <laughs> like, like like that thing where it just did a loop in the air and then landed on top of you? Yes, right on my head. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. <laughs> I was pissed. Like I got, I was a very angry child during school. <laughs> I think, yeah, it, it was so bad. I actually had to go to therapy for it. <laughs> oh wow! Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> I got bullied and teased a lot. <laughs> Same. I was bullied a lot too. Yeah. So I know the pain. That, that was that was basically my middle school year. Curses to anyone who threw something kid, in my circle of stones. The, the, the same kid threw a swing at me, and when I told a recess aide, 
She said, well, you shouldn't have gone near him. You were asking for it. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, I was on swings first, and he came by me, and it was time to go. He threw the swing at me. What the hell? Well, do you disturb my peaceful nap? I will give you this if you go away. Cool, got the other medallion. <laughs> the Quaker medallion. This magic causes the ground to shake and defeats <sighs> nearby enemies. Watch the magic meter. And swinging was the thing I like doing most at recess, too. So it's like, what am I going to do? Just sit around and be bored? Yeah. So did he For like... me... Oh, sorry. Go on. No, go on. No, you go on. No, <laughs> go ahead. I'm uh, eating ice cream. Mm. Do it! What kind of PBG cream, goes first. What kind of ice cream is it? Chocolate. Mm. With chocolate chunks in it. Mm. Damn it, I want ice cream. I can make this worse. We got our uh, popcorn shrimp baskets back at work. Eh. <laughs> but, uh, he wants the ice yeah, cream. He threw a swing at me and he didn't get in trouble. In fact, pretty much I got in trouble because I went. I quote unquote went near him. Wait, what? Wow. How the hell do I get to that side of the river? At least I still got all my medallions. It's like I I hated the lunch aids at that's at that elementary school. They were so bad. When I was in um middle school, I had I did safety patrol, which is where you I'm pretty sure you like saw the kids with the flags that would um, cross the street and then block people from driving so the kids could go to their yeah, next class. I never class. saw anything like that. Mm -hmm. I, well, that's what I did. Um, but uh, I had a, one kid that would legit follow me um, after there and he would go oompa loompa doopa dee doop and. Um, Call me an Oompa Loompa because, uh, you know, I'm a shorty. Make short, short here. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> my mom My mom saw him one day and she... <laughs> I love my mom. She, she had the window ajar. Just ajar, okay? Tiny bit. And he was walking past the car and she goes... I go, oh my god, that's him. That's the one that calls me Oompa Loompa. And... As loud as she could, she goes, That fucker calls you the Oompa Loompa? He's the Oompa Loompa. <laughs> wow. And what grade was this? This was, this was seventh grade. <laughs> okay, I thought it was like elementary school for a second. I was like, Jeez. No, but my mom. <laughs> but you don't understand. I was afraid for my life that day because he looked directly at my car <laughs> that I was in. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to die today. I'm going to fucking die today. Thanks, Mom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Did anything ever come of it? Nope. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I just got a very... Evil death glare. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It was just great, though. Just, <laughs> just, just uh, how my and... mom said it. <laughs> In <laughs> high school, especially like our last two years, it was because the hallways were always so stupidly packed. Uh, me and my friends are. We had we had a big friend named Xavier who was on the football team, and he was like a big guy. So we literally just used him as a battering ram so we can get through the crowd easier. <laughs> <laughs> like he wasn't charging anyone, but like he could just like push past people easily. He just like move. <laughs> Pretty much. I still need to find that damn flute. I have no idea where it is. He's, he said here, maybe it's... No, he's still playing it. He said it was in this little grove area somewhere. There it is. 
Um, nice. excuse me, that is not a flute. That is an ocarina, good sir. Oh, here's the flute. Isn't that? It's magic. It surely has some mysterious power. I have an actual ocarina, like the actual like ocarina of time. Yeah, I I actually have one as well. I think I got mine off Wish. I don't remember. I think mine was like a birthday gift, so I don't remember exactly where it is. I have a ghost. <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> we change you go to the village I lived in. Please get, uh, give it to a tired old man you will find there. Well, my mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. No. Oh. You became a tree! Aww. Is he just dead? Yep. Yep. He became one with the tree. My name is Boy. I speak for the trees. <laughs> before, no, before he goes, your playing sucked. <laughs> I could do it better! <laughs> 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 Alright, I need to go back to the light world. You good, dude? I'm trying not to choke. <laughs> I want a refund! Stop it! I'm glad! <laughs> back in my day. Like, oh. I didn't have a day. Back in my day, days were actually weeks! Help. Help. Someone help me. <laughs> no one can I save for me. hours! And hours were seconds. Mm, I can't eat all this. I don't want to go. the frick. <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? I don't want to go in the garage, because that's where the big freezer is. That's also where the rat is. She's gone full squeak. Oh, no. <laughs> she She's right. become the rat. <laughs> All right, uh, I shut up. <laughs> to beat the rat, you must become the rat. Think like the rat. Embrace. You the hear? Rat. I'm not muting myself, so you hear screaming. <laughs> <laughs> we hear screaming. We'll know that it's going well. <laughs> what the hell? We hear, a th oh. we hear a thunk, and it's like she goes like, "So I killed the rat." <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I know what I was supposed to do in there. That looked like a forge. Maybe I need to use a lantern to light it up. Uh, Bombos? Uh, do you remember in, like, elementary school when they bring out the, the big block stuff? But it was, it was just, like, a bunch of, like, weird, like, uh, polygon shapes? For... Like, like, just during free time. Oh. Like, ah. it, was, it was, like, diamonds. Stuff it was like octagons, diamonds, weird triangles. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> Have so, you become one with the rat? Shut up. <laughs> Reject humanity. Humanity embrace rat. I don't I embrace, embrace, embrace the rat. <laughs> I have reasons why I don't like him. <laughs> Reject humanity. Embrace monkey. <laughs> I can handle the monkey, just not rats. <laughs> he, the end of the Godzilla versus King Kong poster. He chunky, <laughs> he monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't believe they're finally making the Donkey Kong movie. <laughs> oh my god. The memes. Oh god, I need now now I need to post something great into uh the music lounge. 
Oh, dear. Oh, no. Also, hey, Sonic the Movie 2, we got a release date for that. I am excited because I actually really like the first one. It is a legit good movie. And also, the best movie to come out in theaters in 2020. Also, the last movie to come out in theaters in 2020. I saw it in theaters before this whole thing hit. Yeah. One thing I like I like about the way g video game movies, uh, Detective Pikachu also did this. The ch the credits where they actually like adapt the style of the game uh, that they were taking reference or I guess you know oh, making a movie yeah. of, like how Pokemon the Pokemon Card. one was like Pokemon cards, and for the Sonic one it looked like the old Genesis games. Mm. That's cool. <laughs> I hear the thing in the music lounge. Oh, no. I'll check out later. <laughs> ah. Ah, there was a guy uh, you were supposed to talk to here, but I don't remember where he was. Uh, in the DK cartoon, K. Rool has a kind of like a royal pompousy voice, right? Yes. The it, it's gameplay gal. You know, lyrics like the Smash Bros. edition, and he's singing it as K. Rule in that voice, I think. Nice. <laughs> At least a version of it. Okay, would it be this? I don't think it's this house. No, that's the brothers. I don't remember where the guy we were supposed to talk to is. AVG, if you gotta find him, I will. I will do the thing with the points. Which thing? This thing. Uh oh. <laughs> what did they ever do to you? <laughs> they existed. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is that is cruel. <laughs> that is cruel and unusual and unneeded, sir. Really, you got when Tamla just sips them? Well, I can't really tell her to do anything. <laughs> it's Tamo. Wait, where'd my <laughs> shovel go? You probably, probably once you found the flu, it disappears. No. Could... Is that the case? Maybe. Oh, that's dumb. I don't see any, any more uses for it, though, though. Well, there's, like, a, a digging minigame over in the Dark World. Well, they probably, they probably give you one. Well, they better. <laughs> and I would love to, you know, use it if I could find the, the kid's father. Oh, yeah, uh... You know how Tamo said she expects me to sound more dragon-y? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, she's technically wrong. I'm not actually a dragon. The dragon boy is just a mascot character named Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Silence says it all. <laughs> so the name is a lie this entire time. I've been bamboozled for this no. long? <laughs> no, because Drew's still, still the mascot, which is why it's called Dreaming Dragon. Uh, Drew likes to sleep. Ah. That would explain it. Get the F away from me, fly. I swear, you and those flies. You know, I, I just send you, like, my actual, like, online self to you, like I did with Moon. <laughs> this, this is, like, a, this is a commission I did, for, I had my friend do for me. Thanks to turn the head just recently. Thanks for visiting anyways. While I go to the Talk to animals with his food. He had a pet bird that flew with him everywhere, but he went to the mountain and never returned. Oh, that's actually really nicely done. Oh, yeah, no. He is a really good artist. Okay, let me try this. Bet you anything. I use the flute here. Does that like... Does that lady still send the guards after you? I haven't seen her out, so... Well, there's already guards inside the town, so I doubt that. Send more. <laughs> Bird. 
That kind of looked like a, a loft wing from Skyward Sword. It just looks like a seagull. No, when it was the, the statue. Oh. Well, the, the starting point at the time of like the whole Zelda oh, series. There he goes. Uh, Skyward Sword, right? Sky As of now, Skyward Sword is the start of the timeline. All right, well, we got fast travel. And Ganondorf is just like the reincarnation of Demise, right? Yes. I'm honestly wondering what they're going to be doing with Ganon, uh, Ganondorf in Breath of the Wild 2. Rehydrating him. <clears throat> oh, God. Please, no. I don't want to be reminded of hot rehydrated Ganondorf. <laughs> it's the whole Squidward thing. I'm yeah, I, I was thinking more of the genie from Aladdin. Uh, when the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer first released, some a lot of people did artwork of the uh, mummified figure, which people think is Ganondorf. But they say, oh, he we rehydrated him and he's hot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And also apparently a ghost, because everybody that they meet in that, in that game is a ghost now. Uh, aren't they? Aren't people like, speculating that Ganondorf is actually be like going to be a good, good guy this time? I I would be happy with because technically Ganon is dead and Ganon's really the the reincarnation. Right, and Ganondorf just kind of gets possessed. Gan Ganondorf's basically like the vessel for Ganon. Right, and if the vessel if the vessel user is gone. Yeah, and honestly, people speculated because of like the the. The flashback thing that showed like the the old artwork. Uh, one of the two characters holding off the calamity Ganon, what looked exactly like Ganondorf and not Link. Hmm. It, it was like Ganondorf and Zelda. Hopefully, we get more news than Breath of the Wild too soon. See, I'm wondering how they're gonna do it if they're gonna reuse Breath of the Wild's world, or from what we've seen so far, it seems to be taking place in an underground area. Well, they said they're gonna keep the open world thing, but they're gonna like do more traditional dungeons. Now, here, here's what I'm thinking they're gonna do. the The main thing it's gonna be like, uh, here's my prediction. It's gonna be like Ukulele, the Impossible Layer. You know, uh, Zelda and Link are trying to travel to like the, the very bottom of, of Hyrule to either like save Ganondorf or you know confront wh whatever's causing or whatever's up with him. Whatever's making the ruckus. Yeah, whatever's making the ruckus. And uh, you'll have to go around down, and yeah. probably, like, you know, equip yourself, get better supplies and stuff. And there's, like, m a pit of 100 trials-esque thing with the underground section. Okay, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was Zelato a weapon in Breath of the Wild 1? Yes. They need to bring you back because it needs to keep the trend because even, uh... Even, uh, Age of Calamity has it, too. Yeah, I know that. Where the hell am I supposed to go? That That's where Zelda is, which makes sense that she's the last one to save. My problem is, I can't get the Kakariko. Maybe I need to go... T but the thing is... We've already rescued the second Maiden. We need to get to the Lost Woods to get number three. However... Wait a second. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I swear to God, if this is what actually what I'm supposed to do, I'm gonna hate myself. Uh, I actually need to head out because I do have work in the morning and it's getting really late here. All right. Yeah, we're probably gonna be going. Yeah. Oh God, I I'm an idiot. I I wasn't paying attention <laughs> to the damn skulls and I got the hook shot that can shoot me across the river. <laughs> How long have right, I just been going back and forth within right. this game, not realizing, oh, hey, I got the hook shot. I can, you know, swing my way across. Derp. Get, get those failures. Good night, YouTube. Up. TBG, please be more observant. Bonk Sorry. yourself ten times. Ten times? You said be more yeah. observant, not less observant. Do it. You get only one. <laughs> only one.
Uh. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can get get the third dungeon done, and then that'll probably be where we call it for tonight. But mm -hmm. I do want to explore a little bit and see what else we can get. What are you? I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. I found an incredible beauty inside the pyramid, but someone sealed the door. You can't do anything with a standard bomb, they say. Right, so upgraded bombs. Or more bombs! Who knows? <laughs> At least now we can go to Kakariko. Maybe. Well, kind of. Oh, he went to bed. He gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said he was going to bed. I didn't even hear him say bye. <laughs> yeah, I said bye. I didn't hear him. I think I was in the middle of trying to kill a fly. <laughs> you mean those flies, I swear. <laughs> what can I do? I don't know where they're coming from. Well, well, you see, when a mommy fly and a daddy Shut fly... Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> so then don't... they start laying eggs all over Stop the place. It. I'm... If I could throw some gate you right now, I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I'm over here and you're over there. Watch a freaking flip, I'll go... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's a good thing that she's over there and I'm over here and that she can't hit me with it. Ghost. Boo. <laughs> Was that actually an enemy or is that... Oh, yep, it is an enemy. I can't attack it. Mice. That looks like a, a way down. That is trippy as hell. <laughs> oh dear. Hi, may I help you? You can open two chests for 30 rupees. Why don't you play? Oh dear. <laughs> yep. Well, there's my luck. I, I got a piece of heart on the first chest. Nice. And 100 rupees. I, I oh, think the piece of heart was actually, like, the grand prize of this, and I I cannot believe I actually got it on the first try. Woo! Good job, Hey, get out of here! Oh! What's this say? This is the village of outcasts. People without rupees are not welcome here. <laughs> okay. And I can't get in there because I don't have any stronger gloves. But I can get in here because I got the bunk. <laughs> and it's just a store. What year was this made? Uh, I can check real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> Into the Past came out in... Uh, 1991. Really? Yep. That was just a little moon. <laughs> One might I say was... you were a new moon. I actually was pretty much a new moon. <laughs> I was born in 1990, so... It would have been a year. Wow. Game as old as me. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, if... if <clears throat> 
if you want to be hurt even more, technically you're older. How dare you? <laughs> how, how dare I point out something right? How dare you? <laughs> You don't say that to a 30-year-old freaking woman. <laughs> oh, please. You're 30 years young. Yeah. I don't feel like it anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just the year doing it to you. It's work, too. <laughs> And I did not encounter my rat friend, thank God. <laughs> damn it. Terrified of those damn things. Why? They're adorable. Not. No. I had a very bad experience with a rat when I was younger. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> well, they sure do like you, it seems. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> my experience with one was um, I was moving out of one of my old houses and my friend came over to help move with me and my dad my mom and aunt went out and did something else mm -hmm. with uh, my sister and uh, so they're like well let's get the shed cleaned out so we can get ready to move I went in there picked up a box and I heard something in the box. I heard scurrying, and I'm like, what was that? And, you know, I didn't know what it was. And then it continued to do it, and I was like, all right, there's something in this box. <laughs> A huge fucking white rat jumps out of the box, runs up my arm, down my back, and down my leg, and I dropped that box so freaking fast. I was like, and I'm done. <laughs> I will not laugh. I will not laugh. You can laugh. I laugh at it now. <laughs> can, you, can you see why I don't like rats? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> because of that experience. He was just trying to get out of your way. Oh, yeah, sure. Just trying to get out of my way. Here, let me run up your entire length of your body. Well, where else was he supposed to go? He could have jumped out the box. <laughs> Not up my arm. <sighs> yeah, he, he, you know what? He should have propped himself on your shoulder. Could have been a pirate. Oh, God. No, thank you. I am good. <laughs> that was it. Was not a little one either. It was a big. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> right, something tells me I need to get to the skull that's open. Just need to find a way to get to it. It's easier said than done because I cannot find. Oh hi. Boo. Could use some health right about now, game. Could you please be generous and give me some? Never. No, I don't want bombs. I want health. <laughs> you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna bite the bullet. There's a chop over here. I'll just buy some damn health. Just don't want to come all the way back over here. Such you got a dangerous plenty world, of... you may need many things. Select something you want to bite. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait. Oh, I already got a fairy. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Speaking of fairy... Get her! I think I wasn't supposed to come out this way. Where am I? Small pond. That's the fortune teller. Alright, 
Let's try this again. I'm gonna guess that's the du Oh. Well, mm -hmm. okay then. The solution was literally walk out around the 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 thing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I will not say anything. <laughs> promise. Hmm. I said promise. What, have I said anything? No. <laughs> oh, guess where we are? Uh, a We're in the dungeon. dungeon. Not just nice. a dungeon, the dungeon. The one and only dungeon. And there's the dungeon item that I can't get. Son of a bitch. Oh, I see. The entire woods is the dungeon. <laughs> it's it's underground, and I need to find the entrances. Oh, okay. That makes sense with why those weird skulls are there. And why it's such a... creepy layout. <laughs> Forget what the boss of this area is. I'm gonna. Seeing as how it is basically a mirror of Link Between Worlds, uh, it has to be the same boss that you fought fought here in that game as well. But I don't remember what exactly it was. Tree beard, because <laughs> you're in a forest. I'm gonna guess it's <laughs> it's something undead because you know there's there's zombies, there's ghosts, wall masters, or floor masters. This is when they're introduced. Oh. I always hate these things. They don't hurt you. They're just a nuisance. You know what? Get out of here. You know what else is a nuisance? This fucking fly. <laughs> now imagine that fly is an enemy. I'm trying to, but I gotta figure out a way without getting my shoe without it no one's noticing me and hitting my computer, motherfucker. Hmm. I right, guess we can't do anything there. I mean, I could get bug spray, but. You get out of here. Where's this pop up? This pops up somewhere I've never been. And I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. It's okay, I got a fairy. You got a couple fairies, don't you? I only got one bottle, so I only have one fairy. Oh no. I'm gonna grab my shoe now. I'm just going to hear angry slapping in the background. It's just like, get back here! <laughs> I'm just I waiting for it not I will destroy <laughs> you! Gently. Gently. Fuck. Actually, oh dear. Okay. And I don't have the magic for it. Great. Never mind then. <laughs> um, excuse me, Link. I don't want you hitting the skull down there, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I 
has to be something I'm missing. Middle? Nope. This room was entirely pointless. <laughs> it's just a collector room. <laughs> Not even that, because there's nothing to collect. Uh-oh. Mm. I got grabbed. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. Well, at least, it, I mean, they're a nuisance, but at least they don't hurt you, right? Yeah, they're just a, a straight-up annoyance. Link, stop grabbing the damn skull to the side! <laughs> Link, what are you doing? Link, please. <laughs> My eye is twitching. Oh dear. Stay calm, TBG. Stay no, calm. Never. Ye yes. Never. How are you supposed to win when you don't? When you're gonna freak out? I, I gotta tap into my deep, unbridled rage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then, I, and then I'll get a power boost from it. A power boost. <laughs> well, I think I know where the boss is. Oh. Yep. I just need a way to open it. That thing is... Why does that look like it's like something from frickin' um... I can't think of that. Cl a Clyde Barker shit. <laughs> Is this where they got the idea of some of the monsters from? Clive Barker or freaking H.P. Lovecraft crap? Nah. <laughs> Alright, that actually worked out in my favor because at least I get some health back. Alright. I see it. I see it. Get the shoe. I wonder. Get the shoe. Damn it. No, but that does give me an idea. Was there one inside the one with the uh, those two enemies, or with those enemies? Thank you, you moved me two feet to the right. <laughs> I can cut the vines here. One of them has to have, like, a, a door behind it. Is there one in here? No. Mm. What is the point of this room? There is literally nothing to it. That I can't answer for you. Now I'm gonna spray the ever living shit out of you. Eh. Die. So cruel. <laughs> I hate flies. 
Jeez. Well, nuisance. Well, after tonight, I'm pretty sure they're not very fond of you either. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I have a freaking electric bug zapper. <laughs> this floor master is really starting to get on my nerves, though. Oh, boy. He's like an ex who can't take a hint. I don't want to be around you anymore. Just let me live my life. What the? <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I think I found my least favorite or yeah, my least favorite dungeon in the game so far. He shoots, he scores. What gamer jar is this? Thank you so much for the follow. Uh oh, nope, nope. Get away. Ah, <coughs> floor master. Mm. There has to be. Is it kill all the enemies in the room? So maybe all the all these little bouncy boys. Nope, not that. There has to be something with this room. Maybe I have to push the the block in a specific direction. That doesn't work. All right, you know what? Thunder. Oh, that's ice. Never mind. Is that... Damn it. I find that actually worked in my favor. Alright, not that way, so it has to be this block then. Not that. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything with this map. There's no, like, hidden room off to the side. Nothing. Ew, that's disgusting. What? The goodwill that's like like four or five blocks away from my house mm -hmm. apparently has a bed bug issue. Ew. It's like, oh, I'm so glad I don't work for that company anymore. <laughs> Why? Because I don't care. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so... Go away! <laughs> I need a way to put a statue on that button right there to open up the door. Ah! Mm! Oh, great. Okay, so... I need a statue on that button. Question is, how can I get it when I, if I push it one way, it gets stuck back there? The answer may shock you. <laughs> uh, I actually wonder something. Usually when you set Gibdos on fire, they turn into easier enemies. Of course, I won't be able to test that out because he just ran right into me and shoulder checked me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. That's why I walked out and walked back in. That way, okay, it doesn't work in this game.
Excuse me. Okay, so... I need a way to get... I'm... No. <clears throat> nope. Alright. It was a fool's errand. Uh, let's see. No room to maneuver around, so I can't push him up here, and then find a way to move myself around. Get! What the? Hmm? Uh, you know what's great? You uh, know what's great? When the floor uh, master takes you, drops you back off in the same room he just took you in, and then all the enemies in there respawn. Oh no. <laughs> I can hear the eternal rage. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, mm, I, I figured it out. I thought you could only push the statues, but no, you can also pull them. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. Don't worry, we finally figured it out. You figured it out. Just avoid these things. <laughs> Easier said than done. I'll wait for him to drop down again. Just like that. Alright, let's go. Finally. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You know, at, at least in later Zelda games, Floor Masters had a sound that indicated they were dropping down, not like a, a half second to react to that. I'm, I'm kind of counting, like, they drop in like 10 seconds, so from, from the looks of it. It also looks like even if they close their hands, uh, it still counts as a grab on you. Yeah. Ooh, get out of here. So just stay as far away of that, from that thing as possible. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not going to mess around with these guys. Just get in, get the chest, and get out. Big key. Got it. There, nice. There, there you go. Got Ooh. the thing. Okay. There, there's there's some stars. I don't know. I'm a bunny now. Okay. I don't know why I'm a bunny, but I'm I'm apparently a bunny. Look how fast you're going. Did it actually make me faster? <laughs> that did. Like ah. you and zoom zoom. All right. Well, now that I Nicely got the big done. key, I can now get the chest, and I know exactly where that is. There you go. It is right over here. If I can get in there. Whew. Shiza, excuse me. All right. Uh, Moon, we might have a problem though. Hmm. I need I need to find those floor switches to take away those those openings there it is <laughs> nope that's not it maybe the statues are sitting on them no that wouldn't be the case uh oh Is the stream still good on your end? Yeah. Okay. Just got scared for a second because it said the stream went offline <laughs> on my end. Just want to make sure. No. No, it's good. All right. Okay. Well, that's definitely not statues. That's my theory went wrong. Oh, damn it. Oh. Nope. That was actually a... Okay. This was a fall into and go to a new part of the dungeon. I'm so paranoid as to what's a hole that will kill me and what's a hole that'll take me into a different area of this place. Right? 
<laughs> like that. That's one that will kill me. Not even with hammer. Like, what are you? Mm. <laughs> How many times have we died to this one dungeon alone? Um, I have lost count. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. <laughs> All right, not gonna bother with it then. You found the compass. <laughs> Hello. Excuse Ooh. me. Bless you. That was a hiccup. <laughs> Potato potato. Dead potato. All right, that leads to the dungeon item. That leads to death. <laughs> well, dear. What? You okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yawning, and then I kind of laughed. So you fought only one boss so far tonight, right? Two. Two? Yeah, we, we fought the Dark Palace and then the, the Swamp Palace. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> Key. Health, please. Thank you. Man, he is relentless. The hand? Yes. Okay, let's Barry. see. Uh, there was a room over there. Let's see, that's the one with the... There. That's the one that we had to... With the statue to get into. Was there anything in that room for us? Or was that something I had to Not come back to later? Not that I remember. Oh, damn it. Mm. Alright, fine. You know what? That actually works in my favor. <laughs> no, it does not because it killed me. Never mind. Oh, oh mm. shit. Let's try this again. What the? Hmm? Mm. Keep calm. Keep calm. I, Everything's gonna I, be okay. I am perfectly calm. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Well, I don't know. I can hear the eternal screaming. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. You're just hearing things. No, I'm I'm not. I can legit like feel the eternal scream. You're just <laughs> hearing things. No. No. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I need to fall down in, into that room because apparently there was a hidden one-off room in there. Mm. So it's easy just because it's right here at these mm. Oh boy. Oh no. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me I'm not. No! Oh dear. Guess where mm. I have to. Y you know what's great, Moon? Mm. The the fact that the dungeon that we are in takes place both in the dark world out uh like field and also the dungeon itself. So if you die out in the out in the the field. It takes you all the way back to where you first entered the dark world. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> My eye, it, it's twitching. Maybe. Maybe that's a sign. No, no, we're, I'm not letting this place beat me. We are finishing this one dungeon tonight, and then we'll call it. <laughs> okay. Maybe take a like, maybe take a short break. <laughs> I'll take I'll take a small break before we fight the boss. How how about that? Okay. Or I'll take cause... a small break after we get the dungeon item. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, I won't work myself to death. Well, don't work yourself to death. Also, don't make your eye twitch so much. <laughs> Too late. Oh dear. <laughs> There's no help in that one. Yeah, I definitely know how the feeling of eye twitch. <laughs> Is that Twitch VR? Eye twitch? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now there's not a bombblin in there. Okay. I'm a, yep, th there's a bombable wall. I can't do any... Oh, wait. Maybe if I press the button, that might do something? There we go. Excuse me. Hello! Hey, hey, guess what? We found a dungeon item. That was quick. Alright. What What was all our troubles worth? You found the <laughs> fire rod. This rod commands the red fire, but watch your magic meter. So, you're probably going to have to use this against the boss. I wonder, is it... No. Okay. It was worth a shot. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. It's on B2, and there's that one room over there. I'll go back up to the surface, and then I'll... I'll take that break. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, where's intermission? Alright, I'm gonna take a minute to stretch my arms and legs. When we get back, uh, we'll finish up this dungeon, and then that'll probably do it for tonight. Okie dokie.
And they're back. Welcome back. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Why, why does Link's, like, little sprite right there right there look like he's, like, giving you the thumbs down? It's like, oh, take a <laughs> bit. I want out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> I, I stuff him. He's like, help me. To be, to be fair, with this dungeon, I don't blame him. Right. This no, it was a different one. Oof. Excuse me. They're good. God, these things are so annoying. <laughs> oh shit, I just realized I died in the overworld, which means... Guess what? Oh, uh, you start at the beginning again. Yep. Hold that thought, I need to turn my heater on. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. I think this is the one that had the store. There's a there's a piece of heart up there. And you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Hmm? Maybe. You know what? No, I need to get that health first. Yep. That has a fairy in it. Alright, so I know this tree right here is a guaranteed fairy all the time. <laughs> so that's good to know in, in case I do die in the overworld again. I do want to grab that piece of heart, but I doubt I have the stuff to do so, and this stupid bird is pissing me off. Excuse me. Mm. Okay, guess I need to get away. I need to figure out a way around that bouncer. <laughs> I 
give a piece of heart to the person who wears the cape. Oh, so maybe the rock's cape is actually in this game. Alright, we got life insurance. We should be able to finish the dungeon at this run. I got a good feeling in my bones. <laughs> Seen as how oh, right. I need to actually be in the dungeon to look at the map for it. <laughs> Alright, so this is the aside from the last area, this is the only other room that we have not explored. All places for that thing to land. Bombable wall right here. I missed it because the the floor master kept get on my nerves. <laughs> That's it. J just a, a skull with a potion under it. Wow, that was really a letdown. <laughs> I expected nothing, and yet I was still disappointed. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a bust. I guess they're... Alright, so top left is the only other area that has dungeon to explore. Mm-hmm. So we need to get up there. The question is how. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really wish there was a way I could pan through this entire area. Right. My shield! Excuse me. Hmm. How did I get up there? The first? I think it was actually going through here normally. Health, please. I just want some damn health. <laughs> Alright. There's an entrance to the dungeon. I just need to find a way up there. I wonder. Nope. Just a weird alcove. Mm. 
Give me some damn health game. Jeez. It's not that hard to do. Why would they make it easy for anyone? <laughs> Who knows? Peace! Alright. I think you were the tree. Yep, there you are. Give me that fairy. I made a wrong turn. <laughs> uh, this place is such a confusing mess. Yeah. How did I get up to that one part of the dungeon earlier? I forget what path I took. I don't remember. Huh. Mm -hmm. Apparently that tree back there was alive. Because it shot a bomb <laughs> at me. It's like... You're not cutting me down today, bitch. <laughs> the fucking hell! Hey, Link, guess what? You got a shield. You know how to use that thing, right? Or is it just for show? I swear. Right. The... Oh, now I think I remember. I need to go to the left. And this should... Yep. Now we're up here. Nope. That was the... Top part of this room. Okay. All right, well, we got the fire rod, so what are we supposed to do with it? Probably use it on that thing that looks like a boss. It's worth a shot. Yep, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I swear this thing looks like it's straight out of Metroid. Looks like something HP Lovecraft Parker would have created. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. Is this what I think it is? Oh, dear. Yeah, it's a maze.
and dead. You know what? That actually works in my favor. Because at least when I die in here, it drops me off right back where I need to go. There you go. Oh, Fire Rod actually kills the get those in one shot. That's good to know. Hmm. Uh, you okay? Kind of got a little stuck there. <laughs> Finally, knew one of these had to have had a secret entrance. And dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. My shoulder hurts. I hurt my arm today at work. <laughs> mm. Well, you're off it, so you get to relax. Yeah, till tomorrow. <laughs> well, tomorrow's then, today's now. Or I guess take no, no. Oh boy. <laughs> I hate floor masters. <laughs> I hate him so much.
No, I get the heart. What the hell? You got this. You can do this. <laughs> you say that as I get hit. Damn it. I gotta grind up on magic. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get out of this room. Unless it doesn't bother to give me magic, in which case, uh... going on with that fire bar All right, finally made it back here. As a bunny. <laughs> nope. Nope, no bunny this time. It's a moth! It's Mothman! What am I supposed to do here? Because I don't have any more magic. Wait, I did get arrows. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just straight up say this right now. This dungeon's kind of garbage. Mm-hmm. It's a unique idea of having to, like traverse two different levels like you got the overworld and then you got the the underground part which is the dungeon proper mm -hmm. uh, but th this this wall master that's constantly after you and the boss is eh. yeah no god damn it Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> All right, arrows aren't doing anything. Hook shot? Nope. I gotta hit it with the sword. Even though it doesn't look like I can hit it because you know it's flying around the battlefield. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Hmm? Full magic. Mm. All right, let's try this again. is garbage.
see. Alright, let's try Bombos. See if that actually will hurt it a lot. That did absolutely nothing. And I'm dead. Alright, I, I can't take this. I have to go grab a fairy. with it. I'm just going to take the far, far way out. Just take the long way to the ferry. <laughs> but I might just grab myself a red potion and then grab the ferry. You gotta be kidding me. Are you mm. great? Mm. 
Oh, perfect. Sure, just combo me, why don't you, game? Excuse me. Getting tired? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, hopefully we're almost done. Hopefully once you beat that moth boss. As soon as I get ready to do something, the stupid floor master just keeps popping out of nowhere. He only exists to waste my time and piss me off. Mm hmm. And the worst part about it is, no matter how many times I kill him, well, A, he comes back over and over and over again, but B, he doesn't drop anything when he dies. Ah, uh, so it's just an enemy that's just a constant nuisance. Yes. Oh, what? No! And there was a big uh, thing of magic for me. Oh boy. Jeez, I just realized these things do like two damage to you every time they hit you. The zombies? Yes. Ugh. Like two to three hearts per hit. I feel like this run's gonna be a failure, but I'm still gonna try it. Try this again for the twelfth time. <laughs> and I'm dead. Kidding me.
There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get through this. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm still gonna try it, but <clears throat> nope, never mind. No, I'm not. <laughs> I really, 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 really fucking hate that floor master. No, it just kill me. Try to go to this boss fight with as much health as possible. Just run for it. <laughs> and as much magic as possible. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excuse me, game! Oh dear. And I'm out of magic. Come on! Ah, fucking hell! I really, really fucking hate this moth, too. Alright. You know what? I gotta go back mm. out. I, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy two, blue, uh, two potions. That way it's a max heal. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't ac I don't accidentally waste it if I do get killed. Because if, the, if, the, if I die, the fairy revives me, and then I waste it for the boss fight. But the mm -hmm. potion, I won't waste. Yeah. I'll use the fairy to heal back to max health, and then I'll grab myself a potion. <sighs> I feel like this one boss should not be taking me this many tries to beat. <laughs> but it is not a well-designed boss fight. No, it's not. It's it, kind of unfair. It, kind of. It, it, it's super fast. Uh, mo it doesn't look like you can hit it with your sword, but you can. Uh, the floor moves around. The spikes along the walls move around. Mm-hmm. The spikes can stack to each other and give you less room to maneuver. Mm -hmm. And the floor changes direction, so you can't uh, take into account of where, where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. And and the boss shoots uh, like a uh, three projectiles at you, so you gotta basically have like your eyes on literally everything going on around you. Yeah. Which is n almost nigh impossible. Yeah. Excuse me. Fuck up, B. These stupid, like, 
wiggly things. They do two damage every time they hit you. Oh, the plant looking things? Yeah. Hmm. And I think that the Gibdos, they do like three to four damage. It sounds like like this world damages you more than the other part of the world does. Well, it, if that's the case, it does make sense. I mean, this is where, like, monsters are, are at their strongest, and this is, like, where it's been evil for a good while. Mm-hmm. Alright, at least I got my sword beam, which means that I can just stay here and not get attacked by the wall master, floor master, whatever the <laughs> hell it's called. Not this time, fucker! Hi, I would like some magic, thank you very much. Great. Hi, yes, I would like to actually hit you, thank you very much. And I'm dead. <laughs> uh, it's just so much happening so fast, I can't react to it fast enough. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Come on, come on! Got him! Yes! F 
Finally! Yay! Oh. Give me that maiden. I'm getting the hell out of this place. Oh, God, what a horrible boss fight. <laughs> I think at this point the game took pity on me because it wasn't throwing so many of those spikes at me as the, at the last couple of tries. All right. Uh, it was like, oh my god, let's give this guy a break. I think because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are, you are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. Uh, get me the hell out of here. I wonder, <laughs> does the Ocarina work in the Dark World? No, it doesn't. Makes sense, I guess. Alright, uh... I think a good place for me to stop at would be, I'm going to guess probably the, the store that sold us the, the red potion. I can buy myself a new mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wonder. Nope. Just where I dropped in. All right. <laughs> Get me the hell out of this place. I never <laughs> want to come back here again. I'll grab the fairy that's in the tree. Maybe. There we go. Grab myself a potion, and then that is where we are going to call it for tonight. <laughs> Alright. And that is that. Well, aside from that horrible boss that we just play, uh, did, I'm still enjoying this game. Mm -hmm. I still feel like A Link Between Worlds is a far superior game to this, but <laughs> I can understand why people like this game. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, let's go see if there's someone we can raid. Hashtag for masters suck. Nah, that's too long. Well, we won't do the hashtag one. We'll just send a raid someone's way if I can find someone. In fact, I think someone... Nope. I was going to say someone is actually also streaming Link to the Past, but unfortunately they <laughs> are not streaming anymore.
Oh, you know what? Mm. Let's do mm. this. Mm. I'm surprised that I actually came up. Since we are raiding him, we'll do we'll do a raid message. And our raid message is going to be Hang on. That's not it. Why did that not copy? What the hell? We're gonna go raid John, who is playing one of the Warhammer games right now. It's the Space Marine game. Mm. Where, where are all my other stuff things? What the hell? Hmm. So, what? Uh, mm. Mm. One of my, one of my layout widgets is actually all of them like the the, the ad stuff the the raid the change this thing what the hell is going uh you know what i i i need i need to end tonight <laughs> we're raiding john we're ra we're raiding with absolutely floored because i am absolutely floored at this moment uh-huh go give john some love go support him he's a cool dude I will see you all tomorrow for some Yakuza uh, Zero. We should be able to make some decent progress. And, of course, Friday is going to be a special game night. Saturday is going to be the start of the Super Mario 3D World. We're going to see if we can get a, a couple of the more mods because it's, so far it's just going to be a me and Dragon thing. Might see if Rez is going to join us. If not, then we'll just do a two-person run of it. But yeah, hope you all had fun. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow for some punchy, punchy real estate fun. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Night. Oh, my God.